Then study this. Eggs. 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 Can you control him? He has autism. Okay? He's got what? But who's got the real problem? He's out of control. Eat and keep your mouth shut. If I am the only one who feels like this, I'm out of here. Okay? Nobody, nobody go. Next. Somebody's out of control. But it's not this kid. Eggs. He has autism. Okay? Is that what? Maybe you should be uh, stricter parents. I don't want to hear. I want to hear nothing at all. I'm out of here. Okay? Yeah, nobody, nobody go. Yeah. Fourteen-year-old Andrew Goring is headed for lunch with his mom. It's one of his favorite activities. Cheers. Yet eating out wasn't always easy. Andrew has autism. It used to be very difficult to go out with Andrew. He had a lot of challenging behaviors that made it tough for him to be out in the community. I've heard from a family recently that they were out at the park with their child with autism and someone actually came up and accused them of being bad parents. The diagnosis of autism is on the rise. The CDC estimates that one out of every 88 children in the U.S. has an autism spectrum disorder. So we wanted to see for ourselves how people will react to a child who displays some of the disorder's most common signs. We set up our hidden cameras at the Chit Chat Diner in Hackensack, New Jersey. Actors are playing the role of the parents, the daughter, and the son with autism. Keeping things real is Andrew's mother, Lisa Gorin, who happens to represent Autism Speaks, the nation's largest autism science and advocacy group. As our scenario begins, Anthony, our 14-year-old actor, is already starting to attract attention. Eggs, eggs, I want eggs, eggs, eggs. Repetitive language and behavior eggs. are classic signs of autism. I want eggs, okay. My sister's got a lot of food. eggs. Okay. For the next several minutes, Anthony fidgets. Okay. He wanders around and generally ignores his parents' requests. Anthony, you want to come back here? Come on, let's go sit down. No one seems hey, too bothered great. about his behavior. Sorry again. All right. Except that is for this man. Excuse me. Can you just, you know, we're, we're in a public place here. Can you, I mean, maybe we should go home, all right? Or can you no. control him? But he's an actor too. And in the absence of any reaction from it's, others, it's we ask him to respond the way some people unfortunately do. Anthony's father tries leveling with our disgruntled diner. He has autism. Okay. Is that what? But then moments later, Anthony knocks his glass over. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Maybe you should take him home. And that's when our diner's behavior draws attention. Maybe, maybe you should show a little discipline or something. He's, he's out of control. It's not... This man looks like he wants to say something, but he's too horrified to speak. As other customers try to comfort the mom, this school Sorry. teacher Sorry. finally finds his voice. Turn around and shut your mouth. His outburst prompts others to offer some choice words of their own. Wait, keep your mouth shut! Eat and keep your mouth shut! You're the one that's everybody. You're setting the whole place. You know, if, if my son, I'm sorry, if my son were here, I would not want to be here in a public place and be reacting like that. Shut up. You know, forget it. Forget it. I just, you know what, I just want to get my check. Guys, can I, can I get my check? You know, this is my first time here. And with that, our diner walks out. Time to let everyone in on our secret. off guard, I gotta tell you. You <laughs> caught me off guard. You okay now? You're yeah. in tears, huh? Well, Why does it touch you? Because my heart went out to the kid, you know? We're doing this because it happens in real life. I know, I and mean, I understand. See, it's it's just wrong. I can't believe you guys did this. <laughs> you you were angry. I was very, very upset and, and angry. I, I, being Italian, you, you get emotional. It just got me upset to see a child being treated this way. You weren't going to let it happen? Oh, no. No, he was going to go down quickly. I believe that. <laughs> For Bob not to eat. <laughs> he was quite upset. <laughs> now, if you're finding it hard to believe that anyone would mistake autistic behavior for misbehavior, Listen to this. I'll tell you what autism is in 99% of the cases. It's a brat who hasn't been told to cut the act out. That's what autism is. 
Michael Savage hosts a nationally syndicated radio talk show that's heard by 10 million listeners a week. What do you mean they scream and they're silent? They don't have a father around to tell them, don't act like a moron, you'll get nowhere in life. Stop acting like a putz. His comments sparked protests from the autism community, and yet Savage insists the disorder is overdiagnosed. We reset the scene and run our scenario again, only this time we try to garner sympathy for our solo diner by having Anthony steal from his plate again. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Your kid just stole a fire on my plate. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. And Anthony? again. Anthony? Hey, yo, dude, what are you, come on, I'm what's sorry. going on? But no one seems too concerned. Excuse me. Am, am I off? Did you see what that kid did? Yeah, but I think he has a problem. That's a problem. problem. What kind of problem is it? Like, he has a problem or something. He looks perfectly normal to me. I mean, you know, why don't they, like, take him home or something? Because he, they want him to learn how to eat in public. Any chance of our actor scoring points with this crowd is quickly lost when he offers the parents some unwanted advice. With all due respect, maybe you should be a uh, stricter parents. I mean, let the kid go home. Because that the really is rude, what you're doing right now. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear nothing at all. You're being very rude and disrespectful to these people right here. I, I don't wait. know you for nothing, you know, I don't okay? Know. But I have a little compassion in my heart, I'm sure, along with everybody in this room. So and you're being a jerk Why right do you have now. to speak so loud? Okay? I don't, because you're embarrassing them. With that, we tell our family go. to Let's get up and leave. We'll just try it another time. It's too upsetting. I don't. But this I don't, woman I don't is determined to stop them. Really and then another woman chimes in. We're just ignorant. It's a little bit, in, you know, it's, we're, you know it's embarrassing for us a little bit. And it's not. It's when, not you know, embarrassing. You shouldn't be embarrassed. embarrassing. The two women convince our family to stay and tell our diner to leave. You upset the entire place. If I'm the only one who feels like this, I'm out of here, OK? Good. Nobody, nobody good. Yeah. You know what? I'm not coming back here. We wait for the diner to bid a hasty retreat, and then it's time for us to make our entrance. <laughs> Tell us why you uh, got involved. I could see there was something wrong with them. And that guy was just being so rude. And I'm like, God, this is like, where's the cameras? Because this is just like that. Show. <laughs> She was going to leave, oh my and God. you stopped her. Yeah, because she was crying and everything, too, and that's not right for one person to make such a big stink. And remember the man with the zero-tolerance policy? I don't want to hear it. I want to hear nothing. He is a police officer. If we had children and one of them was like that, never in a million years would I want anybody to do what he did. He wouldn't tolerate nothing. What if it, uh, what if it bothers you a little bit? He's a little too loud. He drops things. So what? It's OK. You know what I mean? He, he has to be out in public, right? You can't put anybody in a bubble and just leave them there. The entire time our cameras were rolling, not one of the diner's customers was critical of our young actor's behavior French fry. or his parents' ability to control him. Perhaps it speaks to a growing awareness of autism symptoms or that more people know someone with a disorder. But for Lisa Goring, who remembers how difficult dining out with her son used to be, it's a day filled with compassion and understanding. The most touching thing for you today? Time after time that someone would come to the defense of the family and of the individual. Really to make, you know, every family a part of the community.